Today we continue our South Coast van life adventure with a visit to Mogo Wildlife Park, a couple of beaches and the beautiful town of Mogo. Let's explore. Hey, this is Editing Karen here and I'm just popping in for a quick minute to just let you know about what's going on in today's vlog. During the filming of our day in Mogo and Tomikin, we got really, really brave and we took our Osmo action into the surf for a swim. Now it is waterproof out of the box, as long as you follow a few simple rules. One of those rules we didn't know existed and we did not follow it and we killed not just our card, but the action as well. I just want to let you know that we actually went back and we refilmed some stuff. We want to thank Mogo Wildlife Park for being gracious enough to let us go back in and just pay for the deer feed and feed the deer. We just went in, we did that and came back out and maybe got the shot of the lions as our intro as well. So anything with me in the blue and white dress is the re-recorded the second day. We did mean we lost a day of filming some other stuff and haven't didn't get a chance to really showcase Bateman's Bay for the beauty that it is. So please enjoy today's vlog and as I said I'm sorry if it seems disjointed because it was filmed over two different days. Our animals were all done on my phone so thankfully we did have a second copy of those encounters to capture. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're at Mogo and we're gonna take you down the main street and have a look what's around. Mogo last year was one of the towns that was decimated by the fires. We're going to show you some of the temporary buildings, some of the things that survived and some of the things that are being rebuilt and I think there may be an animal or two involved in today's vlog. What do you reckon? Maybe. Let's go explore Mogo. This is Mogo Mall, one of those temporary places that I was telling you about. These trees are right on the edge of town. As you can see, the regrowth going right up the trunks of the tree. Mogo Lolly Shop. Minion letterbox. The old church uh, was sadly lost in the fire and they're rebuilding it. Indo Direct. A lot of the um, houses and properties that were lost were at the north end of town and a lot of the places that we used to visit when we came down here with the kids when they were little um, are still here. Oh, cool. If you're looking for somewhere, I can recommend that cafe. It was good. The clock tower assortment of shops and knick-knacky places in there and the trading post welcome to Mogo Light Wildlife Park where we're gonna have a wander around see the animals the odd lion and have a great day the deer feeding was three dollars extra on top of our entry fee and it was something cute to do not far from the entrance I think these guys love the attention. You had to be quick if you wanted to feed one in particular. The guy sitting down must have had their fill. Mm. With my bag empty, now to wash my hands. You can do lots of different experiences. Um, including the deer feeding that we did. Um, that one you can do all the time at your own thing. These ones cost a little bit more. There is a fee attached to all of them. But, you know, if you want to take your experience at the wildlife park a little bit further, then check out what experience are available the day that you visit. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name Like 
they've been for a swim. You made them look, Phil. What was that? value out of today why not hit that like button and let us know in the comments below who your favorite animal was that was our mogo wildlife park experience what did you think phil it was great favorite animal meerkats that was quick <laughs> <laughs> they were very cute and on the way out they were more awake so we got to see them a little bit more active mogo's wildlife park is about less than five minute drive out of mogo village and very much worth the time it cost us $79 for the two of us to experience the wildlife park and we also, that included the deer feed as well. Barlings Beach. Looking around to Tomican Cove and Tomican Beach. And we are at Melville Point right now. Tomican Cove. Comic and clothes. That little rock area. Okay. Around that point over there is Tomic and Beach. Great mosaic. This is Tomican Beach. We used to come here on holidays with our kids, stayed at a resort in Tomican and came down to the beach every day. My lunchtime friends. If you enjoyed today's video why not smash that like button hit the subscribe button while you're there so you'll be kept informed of more of our van life adventure we've got dolphins to spot national parks to explore and of course the magnificent sand of Jervis Bay I want to thank you for joining us until next time travel brilliantly bye if you want to get caught up on our van life adventure why not hit the playlist above